game of Super Wild Card Weekend tonight, and the winner heading to Tampa to face the defending champs. Who's it going to be, Rams or Cardinals? L.A. favorite at home by three and a half. The total is nearly 50. It's 49 and a half. Yeah, I'm taking Arizona with the points, but, but I think L.A. might win it by a field goal. So I'll take the three and a half. Um, but it wouldn't shock me to see Arizona win this game. They beat them up pretty easily when they were on the road there the first time they lost at home in a close game. Uh, and you know, that Rams defense is banged up, and the Cardinals are going to be getting guys back. You know, J.J. Watt's back probably for this game. That means they're going to have the first time they're going to play Phillips, Watt, and Chandler Jones all together. In, in, you know, first time this season, which is amazing uh, in this game. So I think Arizona will keep it close. I'll take the points. I think it's a low-scoring game. I think both defenses have a major advantage. Surprisingly, when you talk about these two teams, the offensive lines have issues. I think the Cardinals will hang around. I think it's going to be a lower-scoring game as well. Cardinals have had a ton of success this season as road underdogs, not just covering, but winning out. Outright. Give us your best player prop for tonight. I'm going to go with Sony Michelle under in his rushing yards. And the reason I'm going with that is I think Cam Akers is going to get more carries. Uh, I think he's going to take away some of his touches, and I don't think he's going to get as many carries as he's seen when, uh, when Cam Akers was banged up. And Cam Akers played last week. He looked uh, okay, not great, but another week will do him wonders. I think he gets more carries this week, so uh, I think Michelle will go under his Russian total. Now, last month, Michelle carried it 20 times in that matchup for 79 yards, but Akers not available in that game. Uh, anytime touchdown score, Pete, you were originally thinking maybe Christian Kirk, You've decided against that. Who do you like? Yeah, I'm going with A.J. Green. And when you go back and watch the games that the two teams played, he had major success uh, against the Rams. And, and, you know, he had two big games, caught a touchdown pass in one of those games. And I think he's live option here at plus 210 uh, to have a chance to get a touchdown. So I'm going to go with A.J. Green at plus 210 for an anytime touchdown. Pete, I know you love talking about the Twitter cult. What is the Twitter cult going to be tweeting tonight? how innovative Sean McVay is and how Cliff Kingsbury might not be able to win down the stretch. You know, it's the same old thing. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's the same old story. Time in, time out. Sean McVay, he's innovative. Cliff Kingsbury, he can't win in December and January. If, if it happens, that's what they'll say. All right, Pete. Always going against the grain with us here on CBS Sports HQ. That's why we love you and a lot of other people hate you. All right, the picks from Pete tonight. Cardinals didn't even mind you say that. plus three and a half. No. He's, uh, he's not part of the cult. Uh, under 49 and a half also is the pick. Sonny Michelle under 56 and a half rushing yards. And A.J. Green to be an anytime touchdown score at a little over 2-1. to one. HQ powered by Sportsline every night, 6 o'clock Eastern time for your best bets, props, DFS advice, and futures Monday through Friday. It's also available on the go on your phone.